going on on Katie Yacht 17, I'm, you know what's going on, we here live at V12, man. Where? How you doing today, bro? I'm all good, I'm 100. Yeah, so I heard you out on tour, man, with Little Yachty. So um, kind of tell us, man, you know, how, how do you make that connection with Little Yachty? Um, we grew up together, basically, you know, same neighborhood shit, same dreams, aspirations, and after he took off, he brought all of us with him. Okay, right, well, that's real. Now, what got you in the rap game? Shit, we from Six Flags. Six Flags, it's a lot of rappers though, and we look at music not only like as culture as a way out, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can be a doctor, you can do this, do that, <clears throat> but what's better than doing what you, what you do all day? You listen to music all day. So for you to be able to put your life into that, it's, that's what we wanted to do. You know, so that's what we wanted to make money off. It's just being right. us, letting them know that we're different, more different than you. You see what I'm saying? Right. Okay. So kind of tell us, man, like how was life growing up? Well, shit, my my life is like you saying, like just me or the group. I mean, just you in general. Like, what did you go through? You know, what I'm saying, kind of tell us, you know, how was life growing up? Where you, where you're from? I well, I was born in Italy, Suave Verona. Okay. My mom and dad came from Africa. They moved over there. They had me, my brother, my sister, and then they had my other brother here in America, like 1990-something. Mm -hmm. So when I got here, I was like six. I couldn't even speak English, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I feel great, I could speak English. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't went through that barrier. I don't went through the joke barrier. I don't went through um, the spirit barrier. You know, we went through the errors that every generation go through. Mr. Soldier Boy, all this stupid shit. Yeah. We done went through all that, now we're here where we at. So it's kind of like I just went through the regular trap and shit, regular hardships of a black young male. It hasn't been no different than most of the people in, in life, as in hardships, you know what I'm saying, right. struggles. All right. So your parents being from Africa, what type of influence, uh, you know, what type of influence the music that they listen to put on you? Mm, it doesn't really have too much influence. Not so, no matter, okay. Mm, my dad listened to reggae a lot. He listened to Bob Marley, Pete Tosh, so. I did be cool and smoke weed. <laughs> okay, all right, that's what's up. So I mean, as far as like your goal, your goals in this music industry, what 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 goals do you have, short term and long term? Short term is to make sure little Yachty go as high as he can before I even pop off, branch off, do all of that. Cause loyalty number one to me, you know what I'm saying? I want to make sure the dude who done gave this opportunity to me is straight for life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to make sure he got no problems when he step off and let us do our own thing. So. Okay. Long term, of course, to win my own awards, to get my own plats, you know, to get my own billion streams, my own. That's my long term girl, to have my own. Okay. I mean, so, so, so name a couple of people that, you know, that you uh, looked up to when you was, you know, listening to the current music. Well, you listen to the current music now, and coming up, what artists did you look up to that really gave you that influence? Uh, well, Wayne, of course. It's like every every nigga I know listen to Wayne. Every yeah. nigga I know say Wayne is the greatest. There's nobody else better than Wayne. So Wayne, then comes the future, Migos, and that's probably where I stop at. That's that's my little area right there where I listen to. I branch out in my own music to different sounds, you know what I'm saying? We go from singing all the time, we go to everything. But as far as listening to it, I don't listen to it too much. I listen to the trash. Okay. So like what kind of reactions have you got from other people to your music? That is turnt, you know what I'm saying? That is lit. That's why that's why I look like this, so I'm lit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because my music lit, and I wanted to make sure everybody understand that. Right. So I ain't want no, no circles around it. He trying to be like this, trying to be like that. I haven't got too many comparisons, so right. I cut my that's dress good. off. But, yeah. As far as, like, the way that you dress, your fashion statement, did you have any issues, anybody? Because a lot of people are negative, you know what I'm saying? You, you can post something, and you get more negativity than good. Yeah. So I know you got some, you know what I'm saying? Lose, so like what? Lowe's dog, I be wearing Victoria's Secret. So, you know what I'm saying? When I do that, yeah. I fuck them up. I don't wear Victoria's Secret like lingerie, bro. I know gay shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wear sweatpants. And right. they say pink on the side. It's kind of like new Supreme sweatpants that have been coming out. But I've been wearing them, you know what I'm saying? I've right. been dropping six dollars on some sweatpants, sweatshirts, all that stuff that's pink, though. Mm -hmm. So it'll say pink on it, you know, from Victoria's Secret. Walk in the store. I always white people look at me crazy because there's a whole bunch of white girls in there. So they're like, what the fuck is they doing shopping with a girl? Then they see me walking dressing. Right. That one shit change. 
So that, 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 that's the only that's the only fashion shit, you know what I'm saying? That's when I don't really care for folks. Like going to Victoria's Secret, I really care for it. It wasn't even like it was on them where I was trying to appeal to them. Yeah. Which I wore one time. My girl had a wore it, it felt straight, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, it's fabric five. I wanna start buying it because it fit right. Now they're coming out with clothes that look like it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So whatever. So man, how 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 was your experience on this tour? Uh, experience on this tour so far, we yeah. on our fifth show today, our fifth show. Right. And um, right now it's super lit. It's way more lit. Like last tour was lit, but this tour we have the full cash. You know what I'm saying? This tour we we running and gunning. So mm -hmm. this tour is way more lit. Songs been changed. Songs been added. It's going crazy. This tour is crazy. Okay. And how many how many stops y'all got to do? We probably got like uh 27, 30 more. Damn. Y'all y'all just it's get too started. much. It's too much long. Okay. So I mean, where do you see yourself after the tour? You think that's gonna give you, give you a boost? Yeah, it definitely did. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, uh, last tour I went from probably like 2,000 followers to almost eight. You know what I'm saying? And that was only in a month span. Okay. So after that year, then came by. Now we back here. I'm pretty sure it's gonna do the same thing as in, cause you know, right now it's about the media. It's about right. social media. It's all about that. So that's what I'm working on fully to like establish myself. It's really my followers getting interacted with them and stuff like that. So by the end of this tour, I hope I can be throwing my own shows. You know what I'm saying? Not even asking bookers, but throwing my own show. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just going through myself, my team. Yeah. Um, the way I work, I have different genres of music, so I have different singles. I got Never Drown, Keep Swimming, which is like a R&B record, you know, mixed with a little bit of rap at the end. Just, just to intrigue the trap niggas, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't listen to the type of music that, they don't listen to that type of song, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I got Never Drown, Keep Swimming, I got Rats Forever, produced by Izzy the Producer, he produced uh, most of the um, songs on Gelato by Young Dolph. Okay. After that, I got Chad Neo that produced um, Coolio, that's another single, and I got Wristwork Send Them Trap, that's uh, by Hayden Beats. Okay. So that's, those four are the singles I'm pushing right now hard, like, animations to videos to all that like keep like I just keep pushing them and I might drop a single on here but you might not see it on here till a month later yeah so it might have ran up 50,000 views over here yeah and it still hasn't even touched what it was touching over here because I haven't dropped it Damn. so that's how we're running right now I'm just trying to keep the views going okay keep them, like what the fuck you doing yeah so who's your favorite producer my favorite producer right now yeah since you have so many styles I Mm. Damn, that's a hard question. You gonna make a lot of niggas mad. That's, that's one of those okay, questions. okay. Well, let's, let's do this. let's let's do this. Thing. Oh let's, shit! Let's do this. Name name five producers that you have worked with or you want to work with. Chad Neal is it a producer? Metro. Um, what was it? Oh, Angry Beaks. It's kind of. I mean, really, my own team. Earl. Earl the producer goes okay. crazy. Yeah, I, I worked with him twice. I need about a whole tape from him. I need a whole tape, so yeah. Uh, 100, 100. He on seventeen too. Okay. All right. So EP mixtapes. Uh, me and Bu, Bu just dropped "I'm Gone" on Audio Mag. It's trending number one. So me and Bu got Speedboats coming out. We dropping the cover September. We don't really know what what date on September. It's probably the thirteenth or something. We don't know. And then uh, I got my own tapes coming out. I got In the Matrix coming out. What is it? I got too many to come out, and I don't even have names for them. I got like seven mixtapes already ready, done, packaged, here. They just need names. You okay. know what I'm saying? I just need to name them, theme them, and throw them out there. Yeah. But we haven't. We haven't okay. a lot of music. Okay. A lot of music. All right. So, man, for everybody that want to link up with you, get some features, booking, whatever, man, go ahead and drop your social media links for them. It's at K-A-Y-T-H-E-Y-A-C-H-T. Anything and everything, anywhere you look for me at, K A Y T H E Y A C H T. K D I. Shit, you want to give me shout outs, man? Shout out 17, man. Shout out the whole QC Lab. Shout out Vitor Studios. You know how we rocking, man. You know we're going crazy. Tough guy, why try? Catch me in your side. Riding down 17. How about I say my name?